چند سیا Ali asked me to join in this afternoon to say a few words. Ali, thank you so much for all you have done for this community, you and your esteemed family members. Over the years, I had the pleasure and honor of meeting and speaking with Mama Shamsi just a few times. I am sure you have already read her life story in the obituary that was published on the website of this funeral home. So I will not repeat what's been published. The following is a very brief reflection of my thoughts and perhaps that of her family's on her spirit and legacy. First, a few words in Farsi. <clears throat> مادر مادر ای زیباترین تابلوی هستی به راستی کدام نقاش توانسته است زیباتر از تابلوی تو تو را ترسیم کند تابلویی که هم منشور عشق باشد و هم آینه آینه تمام نمای احساس و عاطفه هم تصویری از خطرات باشد و هم تمثالی از محبت آه مادر چه آرام بخشی قلبت مخزن رحمت است و نگاهت معدن الفت یادت تجدید کننده خاطرات است و نامت زینت بخش کلام به راستی که مادر تو هدیه آسمانی هستی که باید همه پاستار تو باشد Before I continue, as a respect to the family, I wanted to ask you to please silence your phone. Thank you for your consideration. One of the meaning of meanings of Shams is the sun. And Shamsi means brightening the day. Mama Shamsi was truly a bright light illuminating the paths of so many. In the quiet corners of our hearts, there exists a garden of memories, blooming with everlasting love and warmth you once gifted us. The sunset may fade and the season may change, but the essence of your nurturing soul remains eternally embedded within our being. You are more than a mother, you were the gentle whisper of comfort on the stormiest nights, the steady embrace that made the world's burdens feel lighter, and the beacon of love that guided us through life's darkest tunnels. Your laughter was truly a melody that danced through the hallways of our home, infusing every corner with a sense of joy and harmony. In the silence of the night, we often find ourselves yearning to share our triumphs and struggles with you, to seek your wisdom and hear your soothing voice, Mama Shamsi. Your absence is a void, a shadow cast over the brightest moments of our lives. But even in your physical absence, your spirit lives on. Your spirit lives on a guiding light that illuminates our paths, Mama Shamsi. The indelible lessons you taught during your time with us continue to shape our characters and influence our choices. Your strength, grace, and unwavering love have become the pillars of our own resilience. Whenever life presents its challenges, we draw from the deep well of your love, finding the courage to persevere. Through the rains of tears that fall, we honor, we honor your memory 
and the invincible spirit that defined your life. We remember the sacrifices made and endless love given, and we strive to mimic the selflessness and compassion that you exemplified. Your legacy, your legacy lives on, not only within us, but also in all of the lives you touched with your teachings, kindness, love, beautiful smiles, and generosity. Though we ache for the days when we could hear and hold your hand, we can hear your voice and your laughter and see the contagious smile, we find solace in knowing that you are watching over us right now from the heavens above. Your love continues to guide us and inspire us, a gentle freeze, or excuse me, a gentle breeze that whispers of your everlasting presence. You know, there are absences that nothing can compensate for. There are absences that nothing can compensate for. And there are people who are never repeated, who are never replaced. And you are Mama Shamsi. You are among those people. In our hearts, you live on, forever loved, forever missed, and forever cherished. Mama Shamsi is survived by her daughter, Mina, her sons, Sina and Ali, her beautiful and handsome grandchildren are Payam, Ali Reza, Leila, Navid, Sara, and Alex. At this point, I would like to ask Mina Jan to approach the podium to share a few words with you. Today has been a kind of very difficult day for me, uh, but I feel responsible to feel, to say a few words about my amazing mom. Uh, everybody calling her amazing. I'm sure if she was here, she would be very, very grateful to all of you that you have come and you've been so kind to keep her memories and to be with us in her loss. Thank you so much for all of you. Everybody's calling her amazing, but uh, I have seen it day by day that how amazing she was. She got married when she was 14 years old, just a child. And she had me when she was 15. Who can believe that a 15 year old lady can grow children? The amazing thing about her was, I don't know how, that she knew so much at the age of time, uh, that there are even few books about training of the kids. Never mind the internet and the media and everyone talking that how should you deal with your kids and all that. She knew so much to give us responsibility. She knew so much to train us financially. I was only nine years old sorry, eight years old, when she sent me to attend a wedding of my one of my aunties, the, her lovely daughters are here, to another city. She packed my bag and she wrote a list of 
what a man was in the bag. And she said, then you come back. All of them has to be packed with you. You have to be careful. Nobody's gonna be careful for you. And then she gave me money and said, you have to spend your own money. Don't ask anybody if you want anything, a snack or something. But you have to write down how much you spend and how. I was nine years old. We spent that one year in India with her. And then when we came back, she felt the gland grown up enough, I don't know. She started paying me monthly uh, money. She calculated everything, all the bus fares, all the snack I'm gonna have in the school and all that. And if I, by any mistake, would lose my money, she wouldn't replace it. She said, okay, walk to the school because you lost your money. She, she wanted everything for us. In that age, she put me to the ballet class, to the music class, to the English class. Nobody believes in a country like Iran. <clears throat> when she barely finished high school herself. But she knew how to manage. Her ambition for her kids was endless. We had to be the best clothes. We had to have the best food. That was not only that. She went to school when I was a kid. She finished three years of high school in one year in a night school. I remember that I would go with our, the lady helper we had to her school to pick her up and go to the movies together. She didn't mind, she didn't mind to go to do that. She wanted to learn. She wanted to learn so much. And she was so capable that when Mrs. Bakhchevan, the founder of uh, hearing impaired kids, wanted to start a technical school for the ones that they were hearing impaired and also other problems, like they were, um, they had other issues, like they couldn't see or couldn't walk properly or whatever. She came to my mom, they were friends, and said, I don't see anyone as capable as you to start something like that. And she did it in a way that, by the joke at that time, I was telling her mom, you have got your PhD in making people cry. Because she would go to all the trades and ask them, this is for such a school, this is for these kids, please give us this fabric, this whatever material they needed in the school. She got them free. And she filled and she built the school from nowhere, for, from nothing, to the extent that this school became so famous that our queen at that time, Farah, visited the school, and she was so happy with the outcomes. This is how amazing she was. Didn't end there. She was in all the charities, a member of all the charities that she knew. My mom did uh, Ali and me in the family took care of four kids that they remained from the earthquake of Rudbar. But of course, mom was doing all the management of that. The kids grow and all of them, the girls were married and the boys in school and university. And then she helped anybody that she knew to put them to universities, to force them to study and prepare all the conditions that they need. Not that anybody calls to give us their kind condolences. They all call her mom Shasi. And they said that she was also our mom. Boys and girls, she was everyone's mom. And we are so honored that she was our mom too. Thanks again for coming. You were all very kind.
Thank you, Mina John, for your heartfelt sharing of beautiful memories. At this point, I would like to recognize Sina John to approach the podium Thank you. and share some thoughts. Dear ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to be standing uh, before you in this beautiful day that is uh, to recognize my mother's uh, legacy and how amazing she was, whatever my sister said is true. What I recall is how strong my mother was. I was playing at age five, six and watching her working day in, day out. Sometimes late at night she was sewing with sewing machine. Irony. I saw her work and work and work. I never saw her tired in my entire life. I never saw her sitting in a corner relaxing either. Never tired. In my entire life, I have never seen my mother complain. She never complained of anything. How hot the temperature is. I don't like this thing. It's so small, it's not enough. Everything was good and she was making it better. Yes, um, I am honored uh, to see all of these good friends and family members gathering here today. And my mother wished that we celebrate her departure and I full heartedly am doing that. I am very joyous right now that She's passed and she's gone to the better world uh, where she belongs. Thank you for coming and thank you for your uh, compliment and support. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Sina John. Uh, at this point, I'd like to recognize Ali John. Uh, it's going to be very hard for him to speak. Initially, he did not want to speak, but we encouraged him to, to come. You are among friends and supporters, so we are in this thing together, if you'd like to approach the podium. Thank you. Thank you, 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 you, thank 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 you, he came and uh, put time upon some of these videos and the song together and uh, has such a wonderful word to share with us. I don't have really much to say after what Amina and Sina spoke and talked about mom, but uh, most of you guys know me and you're kind enough to come through me to pay respect to mom. Recognize the most outstanding uh, personality that mom had was her kindness. That was something that they had no match. She was kind to just about every single person passed through her life. Um, some of you just come by the house to visit, to help. You know you wouldn't leave. Did she stop by? Did you smile? Maybe a little plate with something to ask you to share. But she was absolutely the kindest, the strongest, the best I can wish for a mother for me. They were uh, 
a few words I had said and I wrote down. The day we came back, uh, what happened is two months ago, we got a call from Iran that she's not feeling well. So the same day, we managed to get a flight and go back to Iran. And uh, she was admitted to ICU. And uh, so we spent three days there. And we brought her home. And the grace of God, we managed to see her feel better and get better. But the goal was bring her back. She had a wish. Her wish was to be among her children on her last minute. And I guess that's what she wanted. She, I don't know if she purposely got ill to get me back at home so fast like that. But she made it. Whatever she wanted, she wouldn't make it happen. Honestly, there was another thing that she wanted and it wouldn't happen. And that's some of the characteristics you're probably gonna see on her children. That's the way it was. You want something, you make sure it happens. So I ended up going to Iran, spending some time with her and prepare her managed to get the Iranian passport, the American passport together, or something that was impossible. It would take eight weeks after getting the Iranian passport together, which took a few weeks to do it. But the grace of God that helped us uh, with some of the senators, we managed to get the passport for her and uh, bring her here on time so the family can get together she was here August 31st. <coughs> she passed away at 3.33 a.m. on September, on a Sunday morning, peacefully, and with having her family surrounding her as her wish. Today, we have people, as Sharon just said, from Canada, from all over, people just walked in, came in all the way from I believe Arkansas said they didn't expect them to make it, but her wish was either her immediate children or Mary John to be with her. And she, her wish came to be all here for her. My cousins from California, from Denver, from Connecticut, her friends from Connecticut from all over, all the people from Charlotte, people I have not seen for years, and they haven't spoken, they pay respect and they came here. I'm honored. I'm honored to thank every one of you guys. Thank you for all the people to help us out, to put this together and prepare. I'm very thankful. I'm gonna read you a couple of things. The morning when we came back, after mom passed away, I sat down outside and looking at the sky. So I wrote a few words. Some in Farsi, some in English. And I'm going to try to read it. And whatever it says is exactly how I felt and how I saw it. And I'm going to share it with you guys. The word in Farsi is exactly what I saw. It says, به آسمان نگاه میکردم دیدم خدا چه خبره انگار فرشته ها با عبرا دارن آبایی رو میکنم زود باید زود شمس خانو داره میاد خوشگل ترین با سلیقه ترین مهرمان ترین داره میاد اونجا جشنه اینجا عشق برای فرشته ها مامان و برای بردی خوش به حالت از طرف هم پاشو بموسید دستشو بموسید دست نکنید تو ماه های نرم و قشنگی خوش ماه تو پشتم افره 
نوشته و صدای ما نوشته و ما خودمان آمده دیگه دست برای آقا بکشی قریبی نکنه این مالا رو زنده نیست Looking up at the sky, I saw a lot of movement in the clouds. I screamed with tears. What's going on up there? The voice came back and said, We are preparing. I said, For what? He said, For Mama Shams, the most beautiful, the most talented, the most affectionate, the kindest. She's approaching, we are getting ready for her. I asked, are you celebrating to welcome her among you? Did you think of us here that we miss her? The voice said, son, be happy for all the beautiful memories we have and treasure them. As she will never be far from you. I said, please. Kiss her feet for me. I used to do it every day. And we did it this morning with my sister when we were preparing her for burial. Just please kiss her hands as we did it today. I used to do it every day. Please comb her beautiful soft hair. I used to do it every day. Then I looked up and I saw her smile in peace without any pain. Were suffering. My mom said, be at peace as I am at peace. I'm at home and you will always have me in your heart. I closed my tearful eyes and I squeezed her memories into my heart, strong enough to feel warmth and love of her hands. I love you, Mama Shabsi, forever. Enjoy your new home. He will forever be missed in this home. I love you all. I thank every one of you guys sincerely for your kindness, for your amazing stepping out and be out there for me. May every day of your life be filled with joy. Just remember what I have learned from her, the kindness, it's like a river. Please continue to drop the ripple of kindness. It's gonna go far. I love every one of you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Ali John, for sharing your thoughts and memories with us. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming today in the middle of the day during work days. The family truly appreciates your participation and extending your love and support to this wonderful family. The family has asked me to announce that after the burial, Please come back and enjoy tea, food, pastries, whatever uh, that's been uh, served. And they want you to stick around so we can have a sustaining moment together celebrating Mama Shamsi's life. So at this moment, we are going to take the body to the gravesite 
and we would ask that as many of you that can come to join us and uh, would be happy to have you there. I apologize. I want to talk some in Farsi because mom while he's here with us with the children as she wished. There are many people back home in Iran in different places that they wanted to be here for these moments and they're not here. So I'm just going to be let them know that we are thinking about them in Farsi, if you don't mind. Aval Marjan Azizan. Can we see the Dukhbar? Mogu Shamsi Begar, Begar Tarik, Shabnam Azizan. Tamam Khonabodi Aziz, Bachoy Tabriz, Tabakuliya. Sis the Buddhas, Rise of the Dark, Rises of the Dark, Sis Khatris. As Tabakhon, Begar Kishomo, Hamatun Hazari, Begar on the Bush, Al Dutti Musamatun, As Tarapishomo, Momon of Bushiti, Yon Kadi, Dorapundi, Urban to Merama. Thank you, Tara, for to speak some words to keep us back in Iran. بسیار زیبا رو با هم در اشتراک داریم و همینطور که به طرف قبرستان میریم شما خواهید دید اگر پیاده میتونید تشریف بیارید که تشریف بیارید اگر نه با ماشین خیلی خیلی خوشحال میشیم که شما رو در آنجا هم داشته باشیم با سپاس فراوان تنکی شما تو بزنجا
Michelle. Michelle. Can you drive me over? Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Okay. I'm sitting in the back seat. <laughs> well, because I don't want to take him home. That's big. He's a big boy. Hence the name. Now I'm up. Can I say that again?
بلند گو لا اله الا الله لا اله الا الله محمد از رسول و علی ولی الله لا اله الا الله لا اله الا الله لا لا اله الا الله لا اله الا الله سلامات خاطر کن اللهم صل علی محمد وآل محمد وآل محمد ولی سلام بر سلام سای As we think of our continuing journey in his life, in this life, we promise never to forget you. We will honor your memory by living our lives as you would want us to. And we will take the joy and pleasure you had in life and share it freely with others. Yaz ha atrashan ra az buy tanet to be ariyat migirand. Shabnam gol vaje ashk hay toast ay shagayeq dashtestan saburi. Ay ham agush parvana ha ay safaye gol sorg ay nargis ish ay aqaqiyay muhabbat. To shamim gol sorghi. تو شمیم گل سرخی و رایهه گل نسترنی مادر مادر شمسی تو از همه گلها زیباتر و از همه آنها خوشبوتری در این روز عطر همه گلهای شکفته را نسار وجودت میکنیم 
You have taught us to be free, be strong, be proud of who we are. Please know that you will be more and missed, that no one can replace you, that you have loved and are beloved. Row sarben ehbebalin, tanha mara raha kun. Tarke mane kharabe, shabgard mubtala kun. ما ایم و موج سودا شب تا به روز تنها خواهی بیا ببخشا خواهی برو جفا کن ما ایم آب دیده در کنج قم خزیده بر آب دیده ما صد جای آسیا کن دردیست غیر مردن دردیست غیر مردن آن را دوا نباشد پس من چگونه گویم که این درد را دوا کنم May she rest in eternal peace and may love and peace be upon each of you I'm going to make a dua for her. Please, everybody, repeat after me. I mean, Allahumma arhamha. Allahumma ifhir laha. Allahumma anzil akram nuzulaha. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Walhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa adamu salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Sadiq al-Wa'ad al-Ameen. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sabbaha asma rabbika al-a'la al-lazhi khalaqa fasawwa. والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله وثاء أحوى 
سنخرجك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعك الذكرى سيتذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تذكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى صدق الله العظيم God with you God with you If any of my Spanish speaking people would like to say a prayer in Spanish please come and join Carmen come on up. It's such a small and a beautiful community with all the different faiths and cultures. But we all love each other. That's the most important. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu reino. Venganos, Señor, tu reino. Hágase su voluntad en el cielo como en la tierra. Danos, Señor, nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas. Y llévale, Señor, al descanso eterno a esta bella señora que ha sido un ejemplo dentro de la comunidad y nos deja como un legado el compromiso que tenemos los seres humanos de servir a la comunidad. El dolor que embarga la familia me rompe el corazón. Descanse en paz y brille para ella la luz perpetua. Amén. I am the gentle autumn's rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift uplifting rush of quiet birds in circled flight. I am the soft star that shines at night. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. Thank you so much. You're so beautiful. That's too Thank you. <laughs> Um, just a quick word. Everybody has their own beliefs. My personal belief is that the body is a vehicle uh, that carries us through this life. Really, what it's about is the essence and the closeness to the Creator that we are in this vehicle, our spirit is. Mama Shamsi, um, the times we were lucky enough to meet her, see her beautiful smile, and see the effects of her essence spread through her children and grandchildren. Um, it's, it's, it's overpowering, overwhelming, and so, so beautiful. So for the ones that didn't get to directly experience it, just hug one of the grandchildren and one of the, one of the children and you'll feel it. But it's an essence that doesn't go away. It's an essence that doesn't die. And an essence that she very carefully, well, as in your story is told, very early, started instilling in you guys so you have that closeness and that love and that beauty close to God that you spread to everybody that interacts and crosses your paths. Thank you so much, Mama Shamsi, for, for everything that you brought into our lives through the essence that you spread. Thank you. Thank you so much. Who were nice enough to come and provide that beautiful caravan and the procession. Thank you so much. Um, as, I, as I look around and see a multitude of people from all, from all over the place, it just makes me think that without us meeting Mama Shamsi, a lot of us understood her legacy and her message. That's the message of love. That's the message of equality. It's a message of equity. When she created the school for the disabled, which was the first in Iran, 
that kind of illustrated the love that she has for humanity. When I look at Mina, when I look at Sina, when I talk to Ali, when I interact with the grandchildren, it just makes me think that they learn from Oman Shamsi. And it's a fantastic thing to be here today, to be a small part of this. I know that each and every one of you feel the same. برای همیهنان داخل کشور خواستم بگم که اگر توی فیلم ندیدید یک سری از دوستان موتورسوار علی جان آمده بودن و یک کاروان راه انداخته بودن به احترام مامان شمسی که این مراسم رو یه مقدار زیباتر کرد ما از تک تک ایشون از طرف خانواده و از طرف شما ها سپاس گذاره میکنیم single one of you guys that took the time and stopped what you do in the middle of the day and came over here to pay respect. I know many of you have not met Mama Shamsi, but you must have heard about who she was. And it did matter to you guys for her or for us to show up. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. May I be able to pay respect for your presence at any given time. Me and my family, we are very thankful for what you've done. All my brother and sister, the spirit rider, who stopped doing what they're doing and they came on the bikes. All the city staff that they were kind enough to stop and come in over here. Friends from all over the place, families from all over the country. Every one of you guys meant a lot. I don't know how to thank you except to say it meant a lot for me and me next time in a celebration. Mama Shamsi said, don't wear black for me. Celebrate my life. And my son had a nice poem that he read. And I would say the same thing for when I'm, my time comes to go. Life is worth celebration, especially for people who've done the right things and done well and have not done wrong to nobody. You should celebrate the life. She's not here. I'm sure she's watching what's going on. After you lower her down, you guys can come on up, as I said, drop the flowers as a memory for the handful of the dirt, because we believe we've come from earth, we're going back to earth. So we do not protect ourselves in coffins. We want to be exposed to the nature, to the earth, as fast as possible. And that's how we do it. But please, after that, let's go and hang it on, have a tea and be together for a few minutes if you're available. The family, I appreciate that. Thanks every single one of you guys. Thanks again.
<laughs> he would share. Thank you. 